they're a known, you've experienced them, you have a neurological network in the brain, but you also have, also have an emotion associated to them, yes or no? And the stronger the emotion that you have to any one of these elements that defined your identity in your three-dimensional reality, the more you pay attention to them, yes or no? Hello? So then if where you place your attention is where you place your energy. So then if you're using your enemy to reaffirm your conditioning to hatred, then you're giving your power away, your creative energy in the form of hatred to that enemy. And you are bound by an invisible field of energy that keeps you bound or connected to that person in your life. Yes or no? And if you're using your boss to reaffirm your conditioning to judgment, then you are bound by an invisible field of energy that's keeping you connected to that person. Yes or no? Because you're giving them their, your attention. Yes or no? And if you're using your ex to reaffirm some conditioning to the emotion of resentment, then you're giving your power away to your ex that you could be using to create a new future. In other words, how much of your creative energy is tied up in resentment that you could be using to design a new destiny? Are you with me still? And then, of course, you know, you have those ethnic parents and you just need a little guilt to reaffirm <laughs> your conditioning to your parents. Yes or no? And then, you know, your best friend, you know, the one that just gets you. You know that one. Because they've experienced the same things in their life and you are bound by an invisible field of energy that keeps you connected to them based on suffering. Yes or no? And the more you suffer, the more you pay attention to them. And you're now your energy is commingled to everything known in your life. And if you use your finances to reaffirm your conditioning to lack or Facebook to insecurity, you know, like nobody liked you that day, then all of your energy is bound because emotions are energy in motion. And so the stronger the emotion that you feel, the more you pay attention to these things in your life, the more your energy is commingled to all these elements. Yes or no? All right, here's an atom. This atom goes on quantummatch.com. <laughs> finds another atom and says, hey, listen, I really like your energy. And the other one says, I really like your particles. Let's get together. <laughs> And so they get together and they start bonding and they start exchanging information and they're bound by an invisible field of energy that's holding them together. You can't see it, but it's holding them together. They're bonded, yes or no? Yes. All right, so then here's somebody in your life, it doesn't have to be you, that just loves to suffer and feel guilt. And they think and feel that way and then they have their best friend who also suffers and feels a lot of guilt. And because they've sh shared the same experiences in their life, they share the same emotions. And if they share the same emotions, they share the same energy and they can exchange information because they understand each other and they're bound by an invisible field of energy that keeps them connected to that person. Yes or no? So then, what does it take to separate these two atoms? Energy. Yes or no? Yes. But it would have to be an energy that's greater than the energy that's holding them together. Yes or no? So then in order for you to break free from the chains that keep you energetically bound to everyone and everything in your life, you're going to have to execute a greater level of energy than the energy of guilt that's holding it together. Yes or no? Yes. The energy of pain. Yes or no? And you can't have energy without awareness or consciousness, which means you're going to have to become conscious when you're unconscious, and that's going to take an enormous amount of energy. Yes or no? Yes. So you're sitting in your meditation, and your body is raging. And it says, come on, Juanito, just a little bit of suffering today. Come on. To better understand Dr. Joe Dispenza's teachings, check out his audiobooks and meditations for free by signing up for Audible's one-month free trial. Use the link in the description or comments below. You will not be charged during the trial, and you can cancel any time you want. And you're sitting there and you keep lowering the volume to that emotion. And as you lower the volume to that emotion and you're working with the body, this is a sign of a good meditation. Because now you're coming up against the very aspect of yourself that's standing in the way between you and your future. The body is now rebelling 
and you keep lowering the volume to that emotion and if you keep doing it over and over again and keep settling the body back down into the present moment as you start overcoming that emotion you're gonna start taking your attention off your enemy off your person in your life that you've been using to reaffirm that state yes or no and if you can stay with it long enough and keep lowering the volume to that emotion you'll no longer be putting your attention on that person and you'll begin to break those energetic bonds and now you will call energy back to you and all of a sudden all the energy that you've used for hatred is now coming back into your field all the energy that you've been using for judgment is all of a sudden freed and now you are taking your power back from that person or that condition and you start building your own electromagnetic field and now you do have energy to create a new future how many people understand are any of these things bad no I have all of these things but if you can't get beyond them they own you you are possessed by your possessions if you can't get beyond them then they're controlling your feelings and your thoughts and your life will stay the same yes or no and people come up to me and they say <laughs> Dr. Joe <laughs> I lost my job I'm filing for bankruptcy my hard drive on my computer crashed <laughs> somebody sold my phone someone disliked me on Facebook <laughs> my enemy died <laughs> My ex is talking to me. <laughs> I always say to them, look how much creative energy you now have to design a new destiny. And you know, for the soul who's eternal, sometimes it's going to shake all of this up to wake us up, yes or no. It has to get that to that point where you can't hold on to any of these things, where you have all this liberated energy and you have to create order out of that disorder. And that's brain and heart coherence. Are you with me still? So then, all of this creative energy coming back to you as you take your attention off all these people and conditions in your life, it makes sense then there's no longer a vibrational match between you and any of those elements. And as a side effect of that, some of those things are going to fall away. They're just going to move out. They're going to fall apart. Don't try to fix them. Let them go. You understand, I have had friends in this work that, you know, vice presidents of universities that said, hey, I'd love to come to your event. They come two weeks later, they get fired from their post, and they're the most beloved person in the whole university. And say, hey, am I, am I doing this wrong? <laughs> and I say, did you really like your job? Well, I did, but, you know, I was getting this and kind of routine. And I say, keep going. Don't, don't, don't take it personally, keep creating few months, falls in love, gets married, gets a new job, moves to a new place, vice president of a bigger university. Now the university that fired him, asking him to be the president, he asked me to write the recommendation. I mean, he's in a whole new life, you understand? And he just let go of what was no longer consistent with his energy. He was at a different energy. Does that make sense? So then as you go from a narrow focus to a broad focus, and you start sensing space, sensing the blackness just like you did last night the act of creating a divergent focus and tuning into that field and just sensing and not thinking and analyzing means you're no longer going to be activating these circuits in your brain yes or no hello yes. and if you're no longer activating those circuits in the brain our research shows that the neocortex literally lights go out and energy moves right into the limbic brain right into the autonomic nervous system and the autonomic nervous system's job is to create order and the moment you forget about yourself and you become nobody no one no thing nowhere in no time that is the moment you've taken all of your attention off of everything known in this three-dimensional reality yes or no and now if you take your attention off the known and off the three-dimensional reality you're no longer your identity that's associated with your three-dimensional world yes or no and the memory bank of the known self, the autobiographical reflection of your outer environment as you slow your brain waves down, causes you to no longer invest your attention and energy in this three-dimensional reality in the known, and you start investing your attention and energy into the unknown. Are you with me still? 
And where you place your attention is where you place your... And now, all of a sudden, the autonomic nervous system starts to lock into a greater frequency. And its job is to create order. And the moment you forget about yourself, the autonomic nervous system says, she's gone. To better understand Dr. Joe Dispenza's teachings, check out his audiobooks and meditations for free by signing up for Audible's one-month free trial. Use the link in the description or comments below. You will not be charged during the trial, and you can cancel any time you want.